Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a spooky couple in love that loves reacting to some horror trailers. I'm already scared. <laughs> so uh, someone uh, asked us to react to the uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre trailer, the new movie that came out on Netflix. I think it was came out uh, last month in February. And so uh, we're going to check it out and see, like, you know, maybe this is one we'll react to. Um, we've never seen any of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies. I was going to say, I feel like this is somebody who's watched this for a while because they know that I've never seen any of them. And everyone in our channel loves to get me nice and terrified. So I'm going to protect you. It's fine. It's so scary. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Just the... Ugh! What the hell is that? That's Leatherface. So, Harlow is a ghost town. We have a vision for this place. All it needs is young blood. I don't want to live here. This is a chance for people to start fresh somewhere. How old are they? Hey, guys. You didn't see this. What are you doing in our house? We shouldn't be here. <gasps> oh my god. Oh god. Oh. This is hard to Okay, so was she in the first Texas Chainsaw Massacre? You okay? I'm okay. Um, I, I will say that, okay, so it looks like they're doing with this what they did with Halloween. And they're they're bringing back the chick from the original to kind of see the franchise through now on, mm. on sort of like, you know, he's back and she's going to go after him. Which I'm all on board for. Of course, that means I feel like I have to see the original Chainsaw Massacre before we could watch this one. Yeah. Just so I get the full story. Also, whenever there are remakes... I, I do like to see the original to do justice to it and, and give it a nod. So pardon me, likes that they kind of tied that in so that I feel obligated to go back and see that. But their face. Oh. I mean, I know a lot of horror is kind of like, uh, you know, low budget and whatnot. Um, but this one, um, I don't know, I'm a little skeptical of. Uh, it didn't it didn't hook me as much. Um, I mean, it looked like it was going to be pretty, pretty bloody and, and gory. And like I like that they kind of, I don't know. Did a little bit of a different like leather face from what I'm mm. used to to seeing, but like it was just weird. Like when he popped up in the little like field, mm. like that just like <laughs> like it made me laugh. It made me terrified. It made me laugh. Like what the hell is that? Something about it just seems a little bit off and uh, hasn't hooked me yet. I do want to see the original. I'd rather see the original before seeing this one for sure. Yes. And then maybe seeing this one afterwards just to try to see since it's like we're assuming since we haven't seen the original that. The woman in this, and she said it's been 50 years. I think the first one came out in 70, probably like 72. So, yeah, it was the 70s, I'm pretty sure. Um, so that would be, you know, 50 years. I imagine that this, that's, you know, the same character or, you know, a similar character. I mean, I wonder if, if it didn't have an impact for you, him popping up in the field, only because we haven't seen any of the original ones. Yeah. Because obviously that is... That, that image of Le Leatherface conjures horror. Yeah. But if you haven't seen any of his movies to know how horrifying he can be, then that might be lost on you and it might come across as like 
funny. Let us know what you thought about this trailer down below in the comments. And if you've seen it on Netflix already, let us know how this remake is. Or this, uh, yes. it's not a remake, it's a basically like, you know. A very long past the original sequel. Yeah, there you go. Let us know how the sequel is. And keep in mind that our reaction for Leatherface on uh, Netflix. Is definitely not definitive.